In the lecture about connecting to the server in the model section, you learn how backbone models can be retrieved from or saved to the server by a RESTful API. Backbone collections, similar to models, are often retrieved from a persistent store residing on a server. To retrieve a collection from the server, you need to specify the URL of the API and call the fetch method, just like models. Here in this slide, we are using the URL property to tell Backbone where our songs collection exists on the server. The fetch method behaves very similar to the fetch method that you learn in the model section. It makes an HTTP GET request, reads the result, and populates the collection. It's asynchronous and accepts an options hash with success and error callbacks. Backbone uses jQuery to make AJAX calls. As a result, you can pass additional arguments to the API using the data hash as you see in the slide. This results in an extra query string parameter sent along with the HTTP GET request. OK, that's pretty much it for the collections. Before proceeding to the next section, make sure to take the mini project included in this section. This helps you reinforce what you learned and prepares you for more challenging stuff coming up soon. Good luck and thank you for watching.